uh, General? Speak. The Lancers have responded to our call. They signaled us saying that they would arrive here later this afternoon to discuss this alliance you suggested. <laughs> Perfect. Shall we get all of them, sir? Leave the others out of this. I only want Hugo. Good. Everyone's here. Here we go. You nervous? That I'm about to meet the person who got me banished from the evolution dimension in the first place? Yeah, a little. Well, don't worry about it. You're one of us now. Just ignore the names he calls you and listen to what else he has to say. Right. Okay. Now that we're all here in one spot, we can prepare to transport between dimensions. Now, initiating interdimensional travel in five, four, three, two, one. Oh! What? What's happening? What's going on? I don't know. Oh. Wee! Ah. Oh. oh, what the heck happened? Oh. I don't know. Where are we? Uh. We're in the synchro dimension, but these aren't the right coordinates. We were supposed to teleport us halfway across the city. Well, don't worry, because I, Jones Turner, know how to fix it! Teleport to coordinates! Access denied. What? Um... Teleport to pendulum dimension! Access denied. Uh, anywhere? Access denied. Access it won't let denied. me teleport! Some sort of virus. We won't be allowed to teleport between dimensions so long as it's active. So we're trapped here? Oh, no fair! They must have implanted it themselves. <sighs> I figured this was a trap. What? Who? Who else? The evolution dimension. They didn't care about negotiating. It looks like they just wanted Hugo. Hey, uh, speaking of which, aren't we missing a few people? Huh? huh? Bit? General Ivory? Hugo? Uh-oh. We must have gotten separated! Where are they? Where do you think? Ah! Oh god. I never want to do that again. You're telling me. Huh? Hugo Celadon, oh. freeze! You are our prisoner! Wait, what? But I thought you guys wanted to negotiate. What's going on? <laughs> Hugo, 
Did you really think that we wanted to do that? Havoc! So this is the Havoc person that you were talking about? Yep. Well, good. Because now we can start asking a few questions. What's going on? I'll cut it short. Bottom line, we could care less about making an alliance with you and your lances. We just wanted Hugo. Granted, I didn't mean to drag one of your friends into this Hugo, but... Oh well, I guess I can't complain. After all, you certainly couldn't complain. Not after the stunt you pulled. Me. You remember, don't you? Revealing evolution summoning and the evolution dimension to the other dimensions. This tournament will be covering a new summoning mechanic in the form of evolution summoning. You heard right, folks. An all-new summoning mechanic which will be advertised by one of our competitors in the tournament. Well... Way to go, Hugo. I'll put a Karibo in it. Of course, you would normally be punished greatly for this, Hugo. But since you were already banished, the government decided that you had enough. So, with you already being banished, who do they blame? Wait, what? General Havoc, do you have anything to say to the actions that Hugo has caused? I... I have no response. But... I can fix this. If you give me a chance, I can find Hugo. Just give the word and I'll get my best men out there in the other four dimensions searching him so we can bring him back here and bring him to justice. Actually, the council has decided since Hugo is already banished, he has been punished enough. Besides, I believe the one that sent Hugo on the mission that caused all this to begin with is the one to blame. Am I right, Havoc? What? But... Uh, I told you. I didn't sign up Hugo for anything. He was just merely disobeying orders. Is that so? Also, it is summer break at the academy that you're currently going to, so I figured you could take this case for me. You... recorded that? Every last word. Of course, it did take some digging. Havoc, you have lied to your company and your own dimension. And for that, I hereby banish you from the evolution dimension forever. What? No! Please! Please! I can bring Hugo back here! I can fix this! Please! Justice has spoken. Havoc, you're banished? Indeed. Alongside anyone else who dare defended me. Resulting in the recruits that you see around you. You ruined me, Hugo. I had everything I ever wanted. You will not believe the people, the friends I had to backstab just to get into the position I held. And now, I'm banished in another dimension, and I can never visit my home, my family, all of it. It's gone! And it's all your fault! Look, Havoc, I, I know you're mad, but it doesn't have to be this way. I'm sorry for... <laughs> <laughs> apologizing now? Please, the only reason why you're apologizing is because you think I'm a threat. Well, guess what, Hugo? I am. And sorry isn't going to cut it anymore. I guess, but have it, you don't understand. The evolution dimension's still hidden. The people of the dimensions only know about evolution summoning. They didn't know that it originated from a dimension. We're still hidden. Do you really think I'm going to believe a lie like that? Even if I did, I don't care anymore. Because now, I'm going to get what I truly deserve. What? You're challenging me? Correct. And the loser of the duel will have their memories wiped clean. All of it? That means... That's right. They'll become nothing but a blank slate. An empty shell. 
Honestly, I'd be satisfied with either result. If I win, I get my revenge. And if you lose? Well, <laughs> you've already taken everything from me. So what more could I possibly lose? Okay, Havoc, I accept. <laughs> Perfect. You sure about this? Well, it's not really like we have much of a choice anyway. Then let's do this! <laughs> Duel! <laughs> I'll make the first move. I draw five cards! I'll start by summoning this monster to the field, Frenzy Hound. Then, I'll set one card face down before ending my turn. It's your move, Hugo. Frenzy monsters. Figured he'd use those. It's my turn and I draw! I'll start by summoning this monster to the field. Pocket Haypine! Then, I'll activate the spell card from my hand. DDoS Evolution! With this spell card's activation, I can send two copies of DDoS Evolution from my deck to the graveyard. Then, I can target one monster I control and perform an Evolution Summon with it. I expand the DNA strand using level 4 Pocket Haypine. I Evolution Summon level 8 Pocket Pork Needle. Pork Needle's skill activates. For every XP card in my graveyard, you take 400 points of damage. <clears throat> now, Pocket Pork Needle, attack Frenzy Hound. Shimmering Spike. <laughs> I activate my trap card. Frenzy Firewall. With this trap card, my monster isn't destroyed by battle. But you still take damage. Ugh. Maybe, but then I get to activate Firewall's other effect. Now, I draw one card from my deck, and depending on what type of card it is, a different effect will activate. The card I drew was a monster. That means I get to special summon it to the field. I special summon another Frenzy Hound. I set one card in my hand before ending my turn. Let me guess, that face down card is Pocket Substitute, right? What makes you say that? It's obvious, Hugo. You always use that trap card for defense. You're so predictable sometimes. It's my move, I draw. I play the XP card Shadow Fire. With this spell card, I can send any number of fire-type monsters from my hand or on my field to the graveyard to perform an evolution summon. Furthermore, those monsters are treated as XP cards while in the graveyard. <laughs> That's a very powerful card. I suppose it should probably have some sort of drawback. Unfortunately, there is. After I finish evolution summoning all my monsters, I take 500 points of damage for each. Regardless, I expand the DNA strand using both my monsters on the field. I Evolution Summon both my level 8 Frenzy Fenrirs. Now, I take damage thanks to Shadow Fire. But, this is where my Frenzy Fenrir skills activate. You see, if I would have taken effect damage from a card effect, my Frenzy Fenrirs reduce the damage to zero. Then one of them inflicts 400 points of damage to your life points. Now, Frenzy Fenrir, attack Pocket Pork Needle! Not so fast, Havoc. I activate my Pocket Substitute Trap Card. At the cost of 500 life points, up. that's where my Frenzy Fenrir's other skill kicks in. By banishing one XP card from the graveyard, I can negate the effects of a spell or trap card that would cost you life points. Oh no! Now go, Frenzy Fenrir! Attack Pocket Pork Needle! Ugh! Frenzy Fenrir number two. Attack his life points directly! Burning! Dark Flame! No, you don't. I special summon Pocket Karibo from my hand. Since your monster conducted an attack, I can summon this card from my hand with ease. Furthermore, not only can he not be destroyed by battle, but since he was attacked, I take no battle damage. This is only the beginning of the duel, Hugo. I set one card face down and end my turn.
Well, I'm waiting. Okay. I draw! I play the XP card Heart of Evolution and use it to evolve the Pocket Ruffet Wolf in my hand. I expand the DNA strand and evolution summon Pocket Haifu Wolf! Your ace monster. Why am I not surprised? And let me guess, you're gonna banish one XP card from the graveyard to use his ability to double his attack, right? Well, yeah, I'll, I'll use that. Regardless, Pocket High Fool, attack! K9 Knuckle! <clears throat> My frenzy Fenrir may be destroyed, but because of High Fool skill, I take no battle damage. And rather than taking effect damage equal to my destroyed monster's attack, I'll use my other Fenrir to reduce it to zero and inflict 400 points of damage to your life points. <clears throat> it's a small price to pay to get one of your monsters off the field. There's nothing else I can do. I switch Pocket Karibo to defense mode and end my turn. And High Wolf's attack points return to normal. Prepare yourself, Hugo. Because my revenge has only just started. 